Hi guys, welcome to today's session. Thank you all for your responses on yesterday. And our yesterday's quiz question was, who is the founder of Tattva Bodhini Sabha? And the answer is, it is founded by Debendranath Tagore. That is the right answer. Let's now start today's session. First question is with reference to Accelerate Vigyan Scheme. Consider the following statements. Statement 1. It is launched by DRDO. Statement 2. It seeks to provide a single platform for capacity building programs, research, internships and workshops across the country. Which of the above statements is are correct? Option A 1 only, Option B 2 only, Option C both 1 and 2 and Option D neither 1 nor 2. Guys, the correct answer here is it is uh, statement 1 is wrong. It is not by DRDO and the correct answer is option B 2 only. Accelerate Weekend Scheme strives to provide a big push to high-end uh, scientific research and prepare scientific manpower which can venture into research careers and uh, knowledge-based economy. It is launched by Scientific and Engineering Research Board, SERP. The primary objective of this scheme is to give more thrust on encouraging high-end scientific research and also it will initiate and strengthen mechanisms of identifying research potential, mentoring, training and hands-on workshop on a national scale. And the aim is to expand the research base in the country with three broad goals, consolidation, aggregation of all scientific training programs. Second one is initiating high-end orientation workshops and creating opportunities for research internships. So that is about Accelerate Begin Scheme. We will now move to second question for the day. Second question is Drug Discovery Hackathon 2020. DDH 2020 recently seen in the news is an initiative of which among the following. 1. MHRD's Innovation Cell. 2. All India Council for Technical Education. 3. Council of Scientific and Industrial Research CSIR. And 4. Center for Development of Advanced Computing CDAC. Select the correct answer using the codes given below. Option A 1, 2 and 3 only. Option B 2 and 4 only. Option C 1, 3 and 4 only. And Option D 1, 2, 3 and 4. Guys, the correct answer here is it is uh, by all the above. That is Option D 1, 2, 3 and 4. Recently, the government has launched Drug Discovery Hackathon 2020, a first of its kind national initiative for supporting the drug discovery process. The objective is to identify drug candidates against uh, COVID-19 by in silico drug discovery. In silico is an expression used to mean performed on computer or via computer simulation. And in silico drug discovery process is thus the identification of the drug target molecule by employing bioinformatics tools. So that is in silico drug discovery and uh, this DDH 2020 is a joint initiative of MHRD, AICTE, CSIR and uh, CDAC and there is also one another player that is uh, MyGOV and other private players are also included in this initiative and researchers, faculties across the world and students studying in India and abroad are also a part of uh, this initiative. So that's it. We will now move to last question for the day. Last question is with reference to permanent court of arbitration. Consider the following statements. Statement 1. It was established in 1899 by Rome Statute. Statement 2. It is headquartered at The Hague in Netherlands. Statement 3. All decisions of PCA are binding on all the parties. Which of the above statements is are correct? Option A 1 and 2 only. Option B 2 and 3 only. Option C 1 and 3 only and Option D 1, 2 and 3. Guys, okay, so here the first statement is wrong because uh, it is not established by ROM statute. So our answer is Option B 2 and uh, 3 only. It is an intergovernmental organization dedicated to serve the international community in the field of dispute resolution and to facilitate arbitration and other forms of dispute resolution between states. It is established in 1899 and it is headquartered in Hague which is in Netherlands. The organization is not a United Nations agency but it is an official United Nations observer. And the PCA provides services for the resolution of disputes involving various combinations of states, state entities, intergovernmental organizations and private parties. The cases conducted by the PCA span a wide range of legal issues 
including disputes over territorial and maritime boundaries, sovereignty, human rights, international investment, and matters concerning international and re regional trade. So, and uh, it is constituted through two separate multilateral conventions with a combined membership of 122 states. India is a party of PC according to Hague Convention on 1899. And the PCA recently ruled that the Italian Marines facing charges of killing two Indian fishermen in February 2012 will not be tried in India and face criminal proceedings in Italy. So it is a setback for India. That was, that, that was in news recently, that's why this question is asked. And guys, our today's quiz question is, uh, there is one another court which is established by the San Francisco Conference. So the question is that only, which court is established by San Francisco Conference? Please post your answers in the comment section. That's all for today guys. We'll meet tomorrow with another set of questions. Please post your scores also in the comment section. Thank you for watching.